I'm Joe James. In this video I'm going to explain to you how to do unit conversions. So I'll give you three simple examples of how to convert units and two of them are going to be basic simple con unit conversions from one unit to another. And the third example is a more complex one where you have units in both the numerator and a different unit in the denominator. And this is common when you have like inches per second of, uh, such as a time series, right, or miles per hour or things like that. So first a few rules. We always want to cancel units whenever possible. So in this case we can see three miles over two miles. The miles are cancelable because we have a miles in both the numerator and the denominator. So three miles over two miles is equivalent to three over two because the units cancel. So I'll call this, and these are just made up names, but I'll call this the units cancel rule. Next is when you're dealing with uh, conversion rates for different units, normally you cannot just invert a fraction like this. But with uh, unit conversion rates, you can. Because we know that one foot per 12 inches is the same thing as saying 12 inches per one foot. Those things are equivalent statements. So I'll call this the flip-flop rule. Be careful when applying this, because you can't just randomly flip fractions like this. And lastly, we want to try and reduce our fractions whenever possible. In this case, we can see the 18 and 12 are both divisible by 6. So we can simplify these fractions to 3 over 2. So we'll call this the diagonal reduce rule. Now let's take a look at a few examples. First, we want to try and convert 12 miles to an unknown number of kilometers. We want to find out what that number is. So the first thing I usually do is I try to keep everything in the form of a fraction when I'm doing unit conversion. That just makes it simpler and easier to understand. So I'll put 12 miles over 1. And then we want to cancel these miles out. In order to do that, we need some fraction that has miles in the denominator. And we want to end up with kilometers. So we need a kilometers in the numerator. So we need to find kilometers over miles and what that conversion rate is. So now we can look online and find that. And we find that one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers, or we could also say that one kilometer is equal to 0.6 miles. It doesn't matter which one of these we use, but again, we want to put our conversion rate in this format, kilometers over miles. So we could use either one of these. And if we use the top one, we're gonna say 1.6 kilometers per one mile. And if we use this one, we're going to say one kilometer per 0.6 miles. We can choose either one of these. I'll just grab this one and we'll plug those numbers in here. So one kilometer per 0.6 miles and that's a given per uh, Google. Now let's just do the math. 12 miles over one times one kilometer per 0.6 miles. The miles cancel out and we get 12 kilometers over 0.6. We do that division and we get 20 kilometers. So that's one simple problem. Next, let's try and convert grams to pounds. If we have 2150 grams, we need to figure out how many pounds that is. So again, we need to cancel out the grams. So we need a grams on the bottom, and then we need a pounds on the top because we want to end up with pounds in the units on top. So now we need a conversion rate for pounds to grams. Since these are both measures of mass, we can find this online. So one pound equals 454 grams and one gram is equal to 0.0022 pounds. Again, it doesn't matter which one of these we use, what matters is that we put it in the right format to fit it into this formula. And we want pounds on top and grams on the bottom. If we use this top one, we're gonna say one pound per 454 grams. If we use this bottom one, we're gonna say 0.0022 pounds per one gram. It doesn't matter which one of these we use, I'll choose one pound per 454 grams. We'll plug in those numbers. Now we have a formula. We just need to do the math. So the grams cancel each other out. We can simplify the problem like this. 2150 pounds over 454. We do that division and we come up with 4.7 pounds. So those are simple unit conversion problems. Now we're going to look at a problem that has units in both the numerator and the denominator, like a rate of speed. So a bullet travels at about 1,700 miles per hour. We want to find out how fast a bullet travels in feet per second. So we, here we have miles in the numerator and hours in the denominator, and we want to convert that to feet in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. So we'll set up our problem like this, 1,700 miles per one hour, and we want to convert that into unknown number of feet per one second. So first thing we want to do is cancel out our miles because we can see that our end solution is in feet. So we need to figure out how many feet per mile. And we need miles on the bottom so that we can cancel out this miles. 
And then we need to cancel out this hours and replace it with seconds in the denominator. So we want a seconds on the bottom and we want hours on the top so that we can cancel out this hours. So we're going to look up a conversion rate for hours to seconds. And those are both units of time, so we know we can find that online. First, let's look at feet per mile. We know that there are 5,280 feet per one mile. Again, it's important that we format this according to what we need to plug into our formula here, which is feet on top and miles on the bottom. So we'll put 5,280 feet over one mile. We're going to plug those numbers into our formula, 5,280 feet over one mile. Now the miles cancel each other out. Next, we need to convert these time units. So we're given hours, and we need to convert that to seconds. So we put the hours on top and seconds on the bottom. The problem is an hour is broken into 60 minutes. So we have to convert a minute into seconds. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So since we want to cancel out hours on the bottom, we want to keep the hours on the top here so that we'll cancel out this hours on the bottom. So one hour per 60 minutes and one minute per 60 seconds. Why didn't I say 60 seconds per one minute? Because I want to cancel out this minutes on the bottom and I want to end up with the seconds on the bottom in this format here. So we'll take both of these two rates, one hour per 60 minutes, and one minute per 60 seconds. We'll multiply those together to figure out how many hours per second there are. The minutes units cancel each other out. We get one hour over 3,600 seconds. So in other words, there's 3,600 seconds in one hour, but we're gonna express it in this format. One hour per 3,600 seconds. And then we're gonna plug those numbers into our equation here. Now we're able to cancel out the hours and we can simplify this problem. So we get 1700 times 5280 and we still have a feet unit on top. And on the denominator we have 3600 seconds and all the other units have canceled out. It's important to draw a line through units as you cancel them out so that you can keep track of what the final units are in your equation. Here we have feet over seconds which is exactly what we want. And we have two numbers in the numerator that we need to multiply out and then divide by 3600. So when we do that math, we come out with 2493 feet per second. That wraps up my video on unit conversions. I hope this was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.